So then what he got here has been digging before me. He's got some neat stuff. That's a real neat cuff link. And then he's got some, I don't know if it's the top to a button or what it is. It's kind of weird. It looks like it's got a little hole in it. Yeah, the post was in the center, but it broke off, like I said. But it's a floral pattern. I don't know if it was off a piece of furniture. Or yeah, maybe it was like a couch tack or That's something. That's what I was wondering, yeah. Well, it's, it's pretty cool though. We got this thing, whatever that is. We were laughing saying we thought it was a mini flask. Obviously that's not true. But the star is he got this, what appears to be a sterling cufflink piece. It's Mark Sterling. I hope I can focus that in. Thing's beautiful. Well, we only did this site once. I don't know if you can see, but I have like a foundation here. I think I remember getting something silver here. I remember getting a few things. Anyways, there's a horseshoe. I'm gonna, you know, work this foundation and dig up all the big iron hope it's masking something or hope we miss something plus i'm using the mini coil i know last time i was here we were definitely using regular coils so well there's still big iron left yeah i'm not finding a lot though i gotta admit i'm not either this is about all i've been finding is big pieces that's cool stuff though yeah. well hey there's an old iron buckle well, I got a hooky thing. <laughs> well, this has been a battle to find something. Man, I hate digging behind myself. <laughs> uh, like two hours later, I finally get a suspender button. But I don't think I have this one, so that's kind of cool. Looks like Dinwiddie missed one. <clears throat> Man, it's been rough digging today. Finally got some hardware, though. Well, <laughs> I have this saw blade and a whole bunch of horseshoes, but I got a high tone. I was walking towards the truck. What do we got? You know, it looks Canadian. Yeah, Canadian dime. 1902. I can't believe that this paid off. <laughs> uh, didn't what he had to leave. He's going to be so jealous. Got it. Oh, awesome. Well, that's it for the night. Man, what a beautiful place to live, huh? No wonder they were here. Well, digging all that iron and just being patient paid off. Anyway, stay tuned. I'm sure uh, I'll add another hunt to this. All right, so I've been to this homestead once before. I wasn't impressed. <laughs> Could just have been one of those days though, and I've never been here with the mini coil. But hey, so I got a high tone down on the road and it was kind of like a cap thing. Um, but yeah, my first dig, here is a button. And it's funny, while I'm talking to you, I look over just now. <laughs> and look at that. Cool suspender clip, but I, oh, it's a harder one to dig because that one's iron. That would have sounded like a nail. Dang, that's, that's a neat one, actually. I'm not sure I've ever got one quite like that before. All right, so there's stuff. Two things already. Dang. All right, let's do this. Dang, look at that. Another suspender. This one actually has something on it. Oh, that's a cool one. It says Wakuda. And then it's got a locomotive on there. Locomotive engine. That one's great. I mean, I probably would normally wouldn't show you all these. 
But man, these are all in the same spot, so I must have found where they threw their old pants. I just went over and showed Dinwiddie that first Makuta button. He's all jealous. He's never got a train button. There's number two for me today. I'm just going to film this one really loud because it'll irritate Dinwiddie. Wakuda number three! <laughs> look, look at him encroach over towards me. Wakuda number four! <laughs> now he's just ignoring me. I'm just like in a buttonhole here. This one says rip proof. I just got a plane suspender I didn't even show you. And Dinwiddie gets closer every second. You are a buttonhole. <laughs> <laughs> okay so just imagine there was several buttons i didn't show you and now here's a new one headlight i'm still in the exact same spot <laughs> like all of this has been dug in like a three foot by three foot spot another headlight button man you should hear the grumbling going on over here do you know what he's calling me a hoarder he just wants a train button. I literally have let him have the whole mountainside. I'm in just like one little spot and he's calling me a hoarder. Look at that, another headlight. It's a beaut. This is just getting crazy. I'm not even showing you every button. You guys been counting? <laughs> Didn't really encroach into my spot and got that fancy little snap thing. Yeah, he's just jealous. His machine couldn't pick that little thing up. <laughs> <laughs> Dinwiddie says this is a Galatia strap or something. Sounds like he's making up stuff. That sounds more like a casserole than anything. And another one. And a bunch more I didn't show you. Well, my first piece of big iron. Got a cool little logo on there. You know... I've got a greater appreciation for digging iron. That's going to look really cool made into something. There he comes. Seven hours later. Whoa! That's a... Yeah, that's, that's some ugly old steel. Well, I made that place look a little better than it was. I just found a lucky spot, I think. Dan Dinwiddie didn't find much outside of that little zone. I was just pulling button after button. But hey, it was worth it. I found a little spot on here that no one had hit. <laughs>